Hey guys, happy tax day. It is day to pay the taxes. I am at the White House because we're going in in just a minute. But first, we gotta send these off to the tax man. Bye bye, money. Hey guys, good morning from the White House grounds. Yep, we are back where there is going to be an event in the Rose Garden in about two hours or so. We gotta get up to the setup. Uh, walking past Pebble Beach, people are doing their lunchtime noon stand ups. We have a Marine out here today, meaning he's in the Oval Office. I'm all shaved, I comb my hair, kind of. Uh, I'm wearing my nice shoes. <laughs> Let's go down. I've got my ladder today because I'm going to be high up trying to see what's going on over the crowd of photographers that are being in front of me. I did not have lunch, so we're going to have to duck out, get lunch, and then come back. The preset line is at 12.15, but guys are already setting up now. So there's the ladder pile over there. That's where my ladder's going to go. We're going to skip going through there. It's too many people. <laughs> where are all these boxes? This is all the Easter basket stuff? Could be. They had the Easter egg roll last week. And they're still recovering, I think. Yep, CNN. Whew. So these are the chairs for outside. And they're in the boxes, and they just throw all the boxes in here until, well, until after the event. <laughs> That's what these are. Free for all. <laughs> it's a medium free for all. Medium. I want to. I want to be able to write more. Yeah. That's the same stuff. Well, I have a master's. Um, they should put bollards in front of the door. That would separate us out. Where can I get a scholarship that will be beneficial for classes? Where I will better understand. Morning. So where are we? We are in the beautiful Oh, it's this direction. Oh, this isn't bad. He's going to be so bright. Run. Run out, run. Are we on the risers or back here? Ugh. We'll bring in the, whatever those are. Flags are up. These are the audio boxes and power boxes. You can see all the cables running under the rose guard. We can go to this thing wherever we can get, get their audio. Okay, I think we're exiting as the rain van is entering. Okay, our preset is done. We're now on lunchtime. So we're going to duck off the campus of the White House and go get lunch. We have to be back here in about a half hour. I was thinking a salad, but maybe maybe a sandwich is more appropriate today. Let's slide out. I tried to get a sandwich. I tried to get a salad, but everywhere was packed, so we're here. Okay, so we ended up at McDonald's. We wanted a salad. We wanted a sandwich, but the lines were huge at both places, and McDonald's was pretty much the fastest, and I need to get back to the White House. I only had about a half hour between the setup and the filming. So let's make our way back to security. This looks like the guests who are coming for the event. This is an event on making childcare more affordable. So they'll have some, probably some childcare professionals, some congressmen, some politicians. They'll all be in those chairs that you saw during the preset. Let's uh, make our way inside again. And just like that, we are back inside the compound. Security is pretty tight here. I mean, belt buckle, uh, pen, anything you have, and we'll set off the machines. So I have to demagnetize myself, all my gadgets, which are plentiful. 
I got a salad. Did you get any food? Hmm? No, you already ate? Yeah, I ate before I came here. Oh, smart. I ended up at McDonald's. Everything was packed. Yeah, it was that disgusting. All right, my ladder's out there. Ah, thank God I preset. <laughs> Think he's in there? Yeah. Thanks for coming out here. Where's that mic? Need camera, good without you. There he is. He's coming. Just wave to us. I was going back, he forgot some. Forgot his keys. Distinguished guests, the President of the United States, accompanied by Kezia Rodriguez. Childcare helped propel my education. And though I'm no public speaker, it is something I truly believe in and I'm proud to speak, up, speak on. Which is why it is an honor to introduce someone who always fights for hardworking families like mine, President Joe Biden. Well, thank you, Kazi, and thank you for the introduction. <clears throat> and uh, former Speaker Pelosi, members of the Congress, members of U union labor that are here today that make a lot of this possible, so many of you. <clears throat> thank you for uh, $1,000 a year, as all of you know, per child, for child care, in order to be able to go to work. And for a lot of families, that's more than you pay for your rent, your mortgage, your college education for your children. It can, all, you can all imagine. A young couple expecting their first child, thinking they should be really excited, but instead they're a little bit scared. They've already need two paychecks to make ends meet now. Instead, the American Rescue Plan helped them stay afloat. In many cases, increased pay for the child care workers. It also helped states expand and strengthen Medicaid home care programs. We also increased child care and development blockers in part of so-called sandwich generation. <clears throat> caring for young children and elderly parents at the same time. And it's overwhelming. I get it. I was a single parent for five years <clears throat> with two young children after my wife and daughter were killed in an accident. 
Thank God I had family to rely on. There's a reason why, by the way, a lot of people don't move beyond where their families are, even though they have other opportunities. They can't afford to. My sister, my brother, my brother-in-law, my mother, they all chipped in. My sister and her husband gave up their home and moved into where I lived just to be there, to help me with my kids. Care workers deserve to make a decent living, and that's a fight I'm willing to have. We need it. I ask the President to rebuild the backbone of America, the middle class, to grow our economy from the middle out and the bottom up, not the top down. Two years in, we're making progress. So let's finish the job. I can honestly say I've never been more optimistic about the future of America. We just have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America. There's virtually nothing, nothing beyond our capacity if we work together. And I mean it, nothing, if we work together. So may God bless you all. May God bless our caregivers. Now I'm going to go over and sign that executive order. Thank you. My face looks bright. I'm not sure where the line is. <laughs> There you go. That was the event. Biden is behind me in the Oval Office with Nancy Pelosi and a bunch of other congressmen. We have to make our way back out of this zoo. And it is a zoo here. Dodge duck. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Okay, I have a few things uh, at the top for all of you. So please. High school, in, in high school, his hopes for the future and wishing him a speedy recovery, the president committed to Ralph and his mom, as he has committed to so many other survivors, that he will continue to fight for gun safety reforms. Okay, and there is the press briefing. It's still going on, but I gotta go home and pick up my kid, <laughs> so we gotta, we gotta go. Okay, we were waiting for Nancy Pelosi to come out here, but we don't think it's gonna happen, and I gotta go pick up my kid, so let's bail out of the White House today, get out into the city a little bit, and go do something else, yeah? Now, I've left my ladder there, my ladder is at the White House now full time. Okay guys, so that's Tuesday at the White House. A lot of you have been asking me why I'm at the White House so much. It's the freelance photography job is actually getting me around the town quite a bit. So I'll be at the White House again, hopefully later this week, but I'll try to get you up to Capitol Hill for tomorrow's events. We'll see. 
We're going to go all over the city in the next few days. Thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.